what's going on everyone and welcome back to another christmas tree review because it's that time where you guys are shopping and getting ready for christmas right so i'm going to review this tree again i got this tree i believe three years ago um and it has been working great and this is why i'm doing another review because this type of tree is actually worth it um for you to get because it's going to last for years and years and it doesn't get old because you could have so many different designs on it that it's always something new pretty much so we're going to go ahead and give it a quick review so you guys understand and get a better idea and then at the end you can see uh where you can get it and uh, if you're interested so this is an app control tree this one comes with the uh 600 rgb lights already installed you could get the tree without it and get the lights on on its own by twinkly and then just put them on your own tree so first after you download the app, you're gonna go ahead and click power. There we go. Hopefully this camera is focusing in. The first thing you wanna do once you connect to the Wi-Fi, because the tree itself has its own um, Wi-Fi signal that you have to, have to connect through your phone. And that it's done pretty simple. Just go to the Wi-Fi settings here. And you can see, let me see if I can focus here. Maybe not. It should come up on the phone. Anyways, when you go back to the app, Twinkly, which is free by the way, um, the first thing you wanna do, you go to this menu here where it says uh, map lights. So the object is that you wanna have a front facing area of the tree. So wherever you, you're displaying your tree, you're gonna have to have a front to it, right? So that way, the tree knows where its audience is gonna be at. So you're gonna go ahead and click map. Follow the directions next. And then you wanna make sure you get all the bulbs within the, uh, the camera, right? So then you're gonna go ahead and click map lights. Once it does that, it does all that, it's basically picking up to see where all the visible lights are for the front of the tree. So that now you're gonna click okay. It's recognizing it, okay. And now you're able to do any pretty any, any type of uh, design that you want. I'm gonna go through some of them really quick. Let's go to this one first. Okay, actually let me go to my, I, got a, I have a folder that I have it under favorites. This is one of them. Another one here. Another one is this one. I also like, which one is it? This one here. And there is so many designs. So now this is the thing. So this is the front of the tree, right? So you can see the metal there where it's rotating around. But if you go to another side, you won't really get the same effect as remember. When you did that mapping, you told the tree exactly where the front was gonna be. So if I want, to do, if I want the front to be on this side now, I will have to do the mapping over again so the tree knows, okay, this is the front here. So this, in my case here, this is the focal point the center, right? Okay. So besides all these, you can also download more um, more designs that you could play. You could have these where every 15 minutes, every 10 minutes, every 30 seconds, whatever you want, it could go from one design to another. So another thing you could do is you could actually go into here, where is it, into here, and you could actually make your own design um, using the app. So that's all your lights here, the front of the tree, right? So now I could go ahead and click, um, I want the lights to flash. I'm gonna select green. So let me do green at the bottom. So as you can see here, I'm gonna select green at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna select uh, red in the middle. Let me do red in the middle like so now let's say for whatever reason i don't want the top 
to uh to flash and i'm actually going to do white in the top but i don't want them flashing right i want them steady whoop i selected hold on a second see i had i had that selected but now let me do the rest of it okay there we go let me do the rest of it now if you can see the ones i'm doing now are not um flashing right so there's so many you could do you could actually have your own custom color here uh, another thing you could do let's go back here uh, close okay another thing you could also do is that you could have your own steady colors and you could just come with any possible color combination that you want and just have them steady So there is so much that you could do with this tree. Another one of my favorites is this one as well. And again, um, it's really sim simple to set up. Um, I was able to set this up like in five minutes. And one other awesome feature that it has is that it has a timer. So you could set this up to turn on, let's say at 6 p.m and it will turn on, turn off at uh, let's say 11 p.m. All right guys, so don't forget that if you wanted to, you could also get the bulbs on their own without the Christmas tree and then add the bulbs to your own Christmas tree. In this case, I think it's better just to have the tree that come with the bulb already installed. I think it's easier that way. But if you want to save money, go ahead and buy the actual bulb itself, the, that kit separately and then add it to your tree. You can also add those bulbs like on the wall and then use the same app to come up with a design and, and use it the same way. Um, this tree is a 600 RGB bulb, bulb um, set. If you get, you can also get a 400 one, which is a lot cheaper, but I think the 600 one is better because it gives you more detail when it comes to the, uh, the pattern itself. All right, if you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. I'm gonna leave the links to Amazon. If you decide to buy through there, obviously I get a small, small commission and I would actually appreciate that guys. So see you in the next one and don't forget any questions, let me know.